And welcome back to the Factor Uncensored. By the time many of us get a job and we truly get to know our bosses, it's too damn late. Sometimes you can have the boss from hell or the boss from heaven. For people looking for work, how do you pick the right boss? I think generally speaking, we did some research recently. We found that 67% of people that wanted to stay with companies was because they trusted their boss. And so oftentimes when we interview with companies, we think of it as a one way, but actually it's a two way interview process. And there are questions that you can ask a prospective boss to understand whether he's a trustworthy type person or whether she's a trustworthy type person. And I think secondarily, a couple of other components of communication, collaboration. Really quick, Jonathan, when you walk yeah. into an interview, you have to have the ability not to be desperate for that job in order to interview that boss. Because if you're desperate for a job, you're saying anything, you're not even paying attention to the person who's interviewing you, your potential boss, because you're just so desperate to get that job, right? Well, I think a lot of times that's how people operate. But, but what I'm positing is that is it better for you to get a job that you will then hate? Or is it better for you to take a few extra moments and see the, who the person is on the other side of the table, ask questions, and then determine, is this a trustworthy person that I would want to work for? Because at the end of the day, people join companies and they leave bosses. And so I think it's really important for people that are interviewing with companies to take a few extra minutes to ask that question to determine if it's actually somebody that you, you feel like you could trust and that you'd want to work for. And should you do any intel on that person, the one who may be your future boss, before even approaching that interview? Well, I mean, I think the beauty of the, the social media age today, as well as information that's out there is that you can actually do lots of research on an individual before you meet them. Um, whether you're looking at their Twitter, their LinkedIn, uh, their other social media channels, or whether in some cases, um, I haven't done this before, but I had someone do a background check on me because they wanted to know like what type of person I was, and have I ever had any issues in the past, those types of things. So I think whatever information that you can get ahead of time that prepares you to, to talk to that person and ask the questions that you want to ask to understand the answers that you need to know to make a decision, I think it's super critical and you should do. And a good boss can always inspire loyalty and high productivity on a job. Those employees are willing to work it and go above and beyond, right? That's right. That's right. Oftentimes what we find is happy people perform so much better. And in order for a person to be have happiness in a job is they, they need to be appreciated they need to feel like their job has a purpose. At some level, they need to feel like their compensation is fair, and they need to be part of a greater community or a greater team that cares about them. If you have all four of those things, and, and you have a boss that's trustworthy and takes care of the team and builds a strong culture, it's highly unlikely you're going to lose very many people. And of course, if you have a bad boss, your life could be miserable. That's right. That's right. And we've all been there, right? I've had a couple of bosses that, you know, I'd like to throw off a cliff, right? You know, <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it, but, you know, metaphorically, I was like, ah, it's driving you crazy, right? But, and that's why it's so important is as, since I've, you know, worked for 20, 20 different bosses, right? And I'm a little, little bit older in my career. I now know what to look for and what not to look for when I'm interviewing a boss or talking to someone. And it gives me cues and indicators on whether it's going to be a cultural fit and whether we're going to work well together. All right. Jonathan Schroyer would arise for those who would like to get more information on your company or you, where can they go or more information on how they should check out their boss before they sign up for the job? Yeah, and, uh, you can check me out on LinkedIn, Jonathan Schroyer, almost also arise.com slash gaming. Either of those locations, and I'd love to answer any questions you have, give you ideas, tell you some success stories I've had and some, some learning stories. As Nelson Mandela says, I never lose, I only win or learn. So I can share out any of those pieces of information with you too. And thanks for the time today. All right, and thank you for joining us tonight.